Hello, thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of our company and our unique concrete waterproofing products. Ochemco is a global manufacturer of integral waterproofing products for concrete and masonry structures. We're based here in the United States. In 2018, Alchemco acquired TechCrete LLC, which is the company that created uh, and has been manufacturing these unique concrete waterproofing products since the mid 1970s, over 45 years. They're generally used on infrastructure projects such as parking structures, highway bridges, stadiums, ports and marinas, water treatment plants, dams and tunnels, things like that. Here you see a few projects here in the US, the Bank of America Tower parking structure in Jacksonville, uh, a resort in Myrtle Beach, and the uh, parking structure at Logan Airport in Boston. Some of the projects that have been done over the years around the globe, uh, we've done projects in 75 countries uh, and thousands of projects. Here's one, an airport parking structure in Australia, an indoor water park in Bahrain, uh, a floating dry dock out in the Pacific Ocean, an air aquarium in Norway, and the Christ Redeemer statue, uh, which is a project that's coming up shortly in Brazil. Also the Sao Paulo International Airport, an industrial complex in Ukraine, highway bridge in Thailand, a water treatment plant in Peru, and uh, the main airport in Rome, Italy, a top power plant in England, and a new construction cathedral in Brazil. So this gives you an idea of the, the types and scope of the projects that we've done. Uh, we have award-winning spray applied waterproofing systems. That's what we're gonna be focusing on today. These are biochemically modified silicate gel forming technologies. Uh, TechCrete waterproofing systems and Crete Pro are our two main product lines for those products. The TechCrete product, uh, we're very proud, was uh, voted the 2020 winner of the most innovative product uh, competition at the World of Concrete in Las Vegas. So out of the 60,000 people that were there, uh, we were voted most innovative, which is uh, pretty exciting. Uh, give you an idea of a couple of the projects, TechCrete projects. Most recently, Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati last summer. They did uh, phase one of that. Here's a brief video uh, showing the application of our spray applied uh, TechCrete uh, system. You can see here we've got two, uh, two man crew. They're spraying directly out of a 55 gallon drum. And as you see, it's a, a pretty simple and a very fast uh, application. This can also be used vertically as well as horizontally. This is actually a below grade application on a project in Arizona. Uh, and then the uh, walls got backfilled uh, against that. So vertical or horizontal applications. Uh, then our Crete Po product, uh, this gives you an idea. This is an underground parking structure in Kansas City. Uh, they did 120,000 square foot level of it there with a spray rig. This particular job they were doing a, a 10 foot wide spray rig and uh, really able to apply it very, very quickly, which means shorter shutdown times for uh, the structure. And then Lowe's corporate headquarters, uh, repeat customers uh, in in 20 uh, or in 2006 uh, these two parking structures on the left here were done so a little over 15 years ago and uh, they were so happy with it that uh, this last fall they uh, did a third parking structure uh, with our products what makes our spray applied waterproofing unique a few of the things are it not only seals cracks but it seals future cracks and that means sustainability and durability extending the life of the structure uh, proven performance in the field as we said it's been used thousands of times around the world since the mid 1970s so 45 years of performance out in the field speed and ease of application means less downtime whether you're shutting down a lane of a highway bridge or a level of a parking structure or a water tank and a water treatment plant uh, the shorter time it has to be shut down the better you can get up to a 30 year full system warranty, labor and material, which is unique in the industry. And it's a money saving solution for your water problems. Some of the interesting, impressive uh, physical characteristics, it can't be damaged or deteriorate like coatings can uh, because it's operating inside the concrete below the surface. 
uh, densifies the concrete surface. So the drive surfaces are, are harder and will last longer. Resistant to chloride ions, chemicals, ice melt, snow and ice melt, and has excellent hydrostatic pressure ratings. It's vapor permeable, so it's not gonna trap moisture in the slab. VOC free, so it's environmentally friendly. It's potable water certified, so drinking water having passed the NSF 61 test does not change the appearance of the structure and it's colorless and odorless and safe and easy for the guys to work with. So when you put all of that together, it really is the best value that's uh, out there on the marketplace. Here's a quick uh, demonstration of how the gel forms. Uh, this is something that we do in person for architects and engineers uh, when we get the opportunity, but it just shows how that gel is created. So the first bottle is uh, the waterproofing agent and that gets sprayed on the deck. Uh, in this case, it's uh, getting poured into a cup to give you an idea. And then the second bottle is an accelerating agent that gets sprayed on in the second step. And those combine inside the concrete along with the calcium that's already in the concrete uh, to form this gel that plugs all the cracks and pores and everything that are there. And they stay resident in the concrete so that when new cracks form and water comes in, it forms new gel and seals the new cracks. So it's, it's really unique in the industry. There, there isn't anything else out there that's able to, to do this type of thing. This is a cr microscopic cross section of the concrete. On the left, you see the untreated side. You see the voids and cracks and uh, things. And on the right, there's a treated side where all of that's been filled in uh, by the gel. This is a demonstration uh, that we did on a parking structure at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga recently. Um, this, uh, this metal plate is covering a crack that is so big they had to put a metal plate over it. Uh, we're gonna show that uh, uh, the underside of this uh, in the next slide. But uh, just to give you an idea, we had them clean off four parking spaces. And as you can see, this area ponded uh, about an inch of water, but they cleaned off four parking spaces and then we just spray applied the waterproofing and we're able to show them within several days how uh, this works. Now, the, this is the clean area. The rest of the parking structure looked like this uh, dark spots up here is in really bad shape. Um, anyway, this is the crack that's underneath that metal plate. This is just to illustrate that that water is still sitting up there. So this is about four or five days later. And you can see that the water's pouring through that, but in the adjacent parking spaces that were cleaned off, uh, the cracks that had been leaking just a few days ago are dry as a bone. Uh, you can see the staining because it had been leaking there for years, uh, but no water coming through at all. So this is a chemical reaction that takes a few days to fill all those cracks and pores. But once it does, uh, it's very long-term waterproofing. We're talking about decades, not years. Pretty amazing. So give you an idea of the application after it's, the area has been cleaned and prepped. Uh, the first step is to spray the uh, waterproofing agent. Uh, in this case, uh, you see they've cordoned off an area of the parking structure so that the cars could get back and forth. It's very user friendly that way. And spraying out of a 55 gallon drum, they're able to cover about 20,000 square feet an hour. Once that dries, you water the area and that helps drive the chemicals into the concrete and start that gel formation. It also washes away uh, any excess waterproofing so it doesn't dry uh, on the surface and, and cause white staining. After that's dried, the second step is to spray the accelerating agent on. That's that second bottle that got poured into the cup. And uh, again, they're spraying directly out of a 55 gallon drum here, so able to move very, very quickly. And then following that and letting that dry, then it's watered again. You cannot give this too much water. Uh, this, this reacts, the more water there is, the more gel that forms. And over the years, uh, there will actually be more waterproofing protecting your concrete than uh, when it was originally put on. And then lastly, uh, the flashing. So at angle changes and around penetrations, drains, pipes, things like that in the concrete, uh, we caulk and then we use our polymembrane flashing four inches uh, on the horizontal and four inches on the vertical. 
So here's a few TechCrete projects that have been done in the U.S. Uh, the Miami International Airport uh, did uh, two full parking structures, 700,000 square feet. One of them was in 20, 2010, and then the other one in 2015. So they wanted to try it out. They liked it, and they were uh, did it on another one. Purdue University, one of the leading engineering schools in the country, they did one level of this parking structure a couple of years ago, 30,000 square feet. And just to give you an idea this is the amount of material that was needed to do the entire 30,000 square feet uh, not much material it's got a very good coverage rate about 200 square feet a gallon this is a project in Australia that was done back in 1988 and this this is documented long-term waterproofing here so in 1988 this deck was 20 years old and was leaking they waterproofed it and it stopped leaking. In five years, in 1993, they had an engineer come and test, water test it again, and it was completely dry. And then in 2017, so 30 years later, they did this water test uh, where they laminated the PVC pipe to the concrete. Three of these are over an original crack that was leaking back in 1988. The other three are just on the concrete. Again, it was 100% water pipe. So 34 years of keeping the concrete protected uh, without any reapplication uh, at all. This is a water park in Bahrain that I had showed you before, all the swimming and floating areas. Here they are watering it in during the construction phase. Pittsburgh International Airport, this one was done back in 1986. And just to give you an idea of the speed, they were able to do a million square feet of runway in 72 hours. And then here's a few Crete Pro projects, uh, Iowa State football uh, stadium. Uh, they did the first phase in the summer of 2021. This is a, a, a new construction uh, condo that had underground parking. Uh, they had severe cracking because they had poured the concrete in 100 degree temperatures. And so they had us come in and waterproof the entire thing. This is a new construction project up in uh, New York, uh, both surface parking and below grade uh, underground parking. And here's a, a, an apartment complex in Pompano Beach where they did the parking structure as well as the balcony and, and the pool deck. So again, just to give you an idea. To give you an idea, uh, waterproofing system comparisons were much faster application than most systems that are out there, therefore shorter downtimes. The initial application cost is generally a cost savings. The life cycle costing is a big cost savings and we're gonna show you that. So here's a comparison, 100,000 square foot parking structure. If you did a multi-layer traffic coating on it, which is normally what's done, you're gonna have a six to eight man crew versus a two to three man crew doing the spray applied. The material needed if you're doing a traffic coating is 42 pallets of material. So two semi loads of material and say a six man crew for 10 days. So 480 man hours and, and shutting this thing down for at least two weeks. Uh, if you use the spray applied from Alchemco, it's gonna take you a three man crew. You're gonna do it in five days instead of 10 days. So 120 man hours instead of 480. And it's going to take about three pallets of material instead of two semi loads of material. And that means you're not taking two semi loads of empty pails to the dump either. Initial cost comparison. So traffic coating systems, just the material generally costs between $2 a square foot and $12 a square foot. That's just for the materials. To give you an idea for TechCrete, which is our long-term one-time application, the material cost is a buck 75 to two bucks. So pretty comparable to the low end of the coatings but the labor cost is a buck 75 to two bucks. So for three and a half to $4 a square foot, you're getting this applied and you never have to apply it again. With a Crete Pro material, it can be a dollar to a dollar 55 a square foot. The labor cost can be 75 cents to a buck 75. So it can be a buck 75 to 330 a square foot. And that service life will be from five years to 15 years, depending on which Crete Pro product you pick. 
And then the life cycle comparison. Most concrete structures are built to last 50 years. They want them to last longer, but that's what the architects and engineers design them for. So this is a 50 year time span. If you applied the uh, TechCrete 2500, our one-time application, it's actually gonna get stronger as it goes along because the water creates more gel. So if you figured $4 a square foot, you're talking $400,000 in a five-day shutdown. If you use a traffic coating, they only last five to 10 years. So if every seven or eight years you had to redo it and it costs four and a half bucks every time, which would be on the low end, you'd be a 10 day shutdown each time and you'd be spending several million dollars and shutting the structure down for two months versus $400,000 and shutting it down once for five days. Uh, so the cycle that's out there now, they apply a traffic coating. A few years later, it delaminates and blisters. They have to grind it off. They have to do it again, grind it off, do it again, dry it off, or grind it off, do it again. So they want, we want to break that cycle. So in summary, Alchemco's unique gel forming technology lets you cost effectively protect your investments from premature deterioration of the concrete. This long-term protection fundamentally changes the way you can look at the financial impact of maintaining and repairing your asset, as well as greatly reducing the hassles associated with closing down sections of the concrete structures. So please allow Chemco to help uh, extend the service life of your concrete structures. And that's it. Thank you for joining us today.